The University of Ghana, Lagos, in a statement released on December 14, announced a review of students' residence arrangement beginning the 2022-23 academic year. According to a circular, all continuing students of Commonwealth Hall will not return to their rooms. Continuing male students of Mensa Saba Hall will also be affected by this directive. But concerned students believe the new hall arrangement is only a knee-jerk reaction and want to address accommodation challenges in the school. In their statement, the said innocent student will be victimized for the deed of a few bad nuts. They have therefore decided to resist attempt by management of the University of Ghana to hide behind the recent clashes to break the backbone of student activism and weaken alumni allegiance to both halls. These new measures are recommendations from the Residence Board and the Academic Board. The university management has been defending their decision, saying it is not harsh, but only meant to find a lasting solution to the rampant clashes between students suspected to be residents of the Commonwealth Hall and the Mensa Saba Hall. So when there's misbehavior and indiscipline, there's collateral damage. So let's all take our responsibilities, okay? Let's take our pills. Pro-Vice-Chancellor of the University of Ghana in charge of academic and student affairs, Professor Gordon Awandari, said students who defy the new directives risk losing their status as students. Nobody can say they, they would not obey the council's instructions. Then maybe you don't want to be a part of the university anymore. I asked what could be the possible impact of this on student leadership in the halls. There's um, nothing unique about uh, the JCR system that uh, cannot be reorganized. So basically, the, need, the halls need to reorganize their student leadership arrangements based on the new, the new uh, system that is in place. So we don't see any challenge in that. Christian Yale, TV3 News, University of Ghana, Legon.